Hi, I'm Ted Nelson. I want to talk about a strange coincidence that leads to curious genetic and evolutionary conjectures. When I was in 10th grade, I took typing. I was one of the few males who took typing. That was a girl thing, thought by money. But I wanted to, be, I wanted to write. I wanted to be able to type fast. And it was very difficult for me. I was good at analog stuff like riding a bicycle, but digital, fiddly digital things like trying to play a recorder or, or type, I found impossible. Anyway, so one time when I saw my father, I saw him rarely, I told him I was taking typing and he said, oh yes. When I was training as a soldier in World War II, they had us marching all the time so we could instantly respond to marching orders and it was incredibly boring. I was also learning to type at the same time. So to while away the time, I looked for a word that would use each finger once. And he told me proudly, there is one such word in the English language, P-L-E-A-S-I-N-G, pleasing. And I said, actually, Father, you're wrong. There's also plainest, palmiest, clasping, elapsing, land spit, line taps, and tap lines, because I had the same habit. Now, there's no possible way that I would have gotten that habit from my father, directly by influence. It had to be a gene. I've only heard of one other person who did, who did this, I, some guy I heard on BBC 10 or 15 years ago talking about it. So, is there a gene for this behavior? And if so, what could have been its function in Paleolithic times? Because it's obviously been around for millennia. And uh, for many millennia, we think. Whereas typing has only been around for a century or so, and, uh, and spelling has only been around for a couple of millennia. So, what in the world could have been the Paleolithic function of a gene that makes someone look for a word that uses every letter once when there were no letters and there were no typewriters? So, this is, I leave you with this interesting conjecture. Could it have had to do with the coordination of, of, of people making arrows and, 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 uh, and all the things we did back before uh, metal? Can it be, uh, can it have had to do with ritual? Can it have to do with song? Can it have had to do with language? But in what way? I leave this as an exercise, as they say, for the reader. Thank you.